In this video, we're going to add a vertical menu using the jQuery UI. And you might recognize this layout. We developed this, of course, in the CSS layout series. And if you took that, you probably already have this code. But if you don't, I will upload it in the description of this video. Now we're going to add a vertical menu to this sidebar right here. And so let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, I want you to open up your previous website folder. Now you may want to save that and just copy and paste the entire folder. And we'll be using the same jQuery UI folder as well as the same jQuery library. So these two will be the same. And you can use whatever version of jQuery that you're using. And then I will provide the source in the description of this video for the index.html and the style sheet. And here is our index.html. Now you can see this is very similar to the previous web pages we've been working against in this series. I've just added the CSS for our main style.css and of course the jQuery UI CSS files. And down here, this will look very familiar again. I've added the main jQuery library and you may need to change this part for whatever version you're using. And of course, I've added the jQuery UI library. And then of course, you'll recognize here is our jQuery source. So we're all good to go. Now, we wanna add that vertical menu to our sidebar. And we have, of course, a div section for that that we created in the CSS layout series. Here it is right here. So let's go ahead and as you know, the first thing we need to do is create an unordered list with list items before we can create any menu. So let's go ahead and do that. And the first thing we need is a UL element tag. And let's go ahead and give that an ID. And this will be the ID that we'll specify in our jQuery code. And let's just call this vertical menu. Now let's go ahead and add our list items that we want. And let's go ahead and add an anchor tag placeholder. So we won't actually put in a page here, but we'll go ahead and put in a placeholder. And then let's go ahead and the first subject will be for ancient Rome. Now, what we want to do here is create a secondary menu off of this subject. So we won't close out the LI and we need yet another unordered list. So we'll have another unordered list embedded inside of this list element because we want another series of options. So let's go ahead and do that. We need another unordered list element. And then we'll add the list items that we want off of this list item. So let's go ahead and just, we can just actually just copy and paste this. And for these subjects, let's say we were gonna talk about the early period in Roman history. And somehow I lopped off the anchor tag there. Now, since we're done here, we can go ahead and close out this list item. And let's add a few more list items here. Let's go ahead and we'll add a middle period. And we'll go ahead and add a late period as well. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now we need to go ahead and close out this unordered list element. So let's do that. And then we need to close out this li element. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay, looking good. So now let's go ahead and add a few more items. And what we'll do is just copy and paste all of this. And let's add another subject. We're gonna add a subject on ancient Egypt. Let's say that. And we'll keep the same periods. And then let's go ahead and copy and paste once more and we'll add a subject on Greece as well. That's good. Now we have to go all the way up here and we will need to close out this first unordered list element. So we'll go ahead and close that out right here. And then let's save everything up and let's make sure our page looks good so far. So we'll watch this in Google Chrome. And great, look at this. This all looks really good. Everything lined up really nicely. Now we need to go ahead and add the jQuery code. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll come down here and we'll go ahead and specify that ID that we created, of course, which is vertical menu. Whoops, I don't need a capital. And then all we do is specify the menu method. 
which of course is part of the jQuery UI. So let's save this up, let's fire this up, and hopefully this looks really good, and I think it will. And take a look at that. There it is. Doesn't that look great? Look at that. Everything fits really nicely and it's perfectly sized. And if you know from experience, these menus sometimes are very difficult to size, but the jQuery UI handles that very, very nicely indeed. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. Now in the next video, we will explore some of the options that you can use with this menu. Thank you.